look bones. You deserve your pound of flesh, okay? And I'm not one to run away from my own problems. So go ahead, give it your best shot. <laughs> Did you ever love me? Was, was any of this real or, or was it a farce? There goes that stupid pride of yours again. Did you think I could just forgive you that easily? No way. Hell no. Heavenly Father, forgive me for lying to your stupid son. Laggy, you have not even started feeling anything compared to what you have been through. You cheap, discarded excuse of a man. So you think that you would just come and act like you're a born again and I will just forgive you? Like, all that is nonsense. I don't believe in all that rubbish again. You see that Bono? She is dead and gone. This new one is born again. <laughs> you killed her like you killed me. A girl that did nothing but love you. You killed her. And then you think that karma will just leave you? Like if karma is a bitch and she is wearing a scarlet sunbonnet. Don't you dare touch me. Like you don't touch me. Pastor Laggy. The famous Pastor Laggy. Caught frolicking in bed with women. This is just the beginning. Look. Oh no. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hey, I, I don't know what came over me. I'm ashamed of everything that I did to you. I, I, I never knew that it, it would end up this way. I, I didn't even know what I was doing half the time. I, I wish I could, I could take it all back, but I can't. But no, I, I regret it. Sorry, Bones, but I love you. I love you more even now. You're not the only one I know. I've been trying to get it on my own. I've been digging way down low. Look like I got my hair all alone. You're not the only one I know. I've been trying to get it on my own. I've been digging way down low. Look like I got my hair all alone. I know that you heard it, but I've been busy out here searching now. Go peace of mind, but no peace of mind. I need a sign every single time. I wanna get better, but who gon' put me together? No, cause man, it's now or never. And I know you love, and that's only all I need. Oh, you not the only one I know. Look like I got my hair all alone. So that's all you could come up with, taking me to lunch. Please, I beg, all these my friends looking for free promo. You buy all cheap, I beg. It's fine. I'll just tell my PA to set up a meeting for you. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, bye. <laughs> great Ooh. friends. Why have you been giving me weird looks all day? So what next? Now that your mafia vendetta's done, Oh, that. Well, I can proudly say that I will tick closure off my list. And now that I have my life back, you know, just focused on my bona fide clan and making some shimane. Is that what you call closure? You destroyed somebody's life, Bono. You cannot just move on and act like nothing happened. Point of correction! Happened. 
I destroyed recycled trash. Do you remember those words? Because those were your exact words. Corey, it was nothing. He was nothing. If anyone was destroyed here, it was me. Corey, do you think this is the life I want to live? I wanted a normal life. How can Lagi hurt me? I just walk away scot free. Come on, Moy. Just maybe. Just maybe. You should be thanking him. Because that experience made you the success you are today. Corey, if all this comes with being destroyed by Lagi, then God or who else is out there, whoever is out there, should take it away from me. Because Corey, I hate my life. I hate it, I hate it so much! I hate it! Honey. Hello. Do you like to pick up the last time you called him? Who? Laggy? Like, yes, Laggy. Uh, nope. You're not worried about that. Oh, man. I've told you not to worry. It's fine. That is fine. Guys actually don't act like that. It's probably, you know, out of town, flying people around. And that's why he's not picking the calls. Don't worry, Laggy is fine. Relax. But. If he was flying people around, his phone would not be ringing. Please, let's go and see him. Please. Oh, that's true. Please. Okay. Papa, that's since true. morning you've been calling him. Uh, something in my gut just tells me something is not right. Okay, we'll go. At least let's prove you wrong. I don't mind. Please. I've sent a mail to the department, you know giving props to the head as for taking charge. And then in the same email, I would have thanked the other workers for doing what they did, you know. Um, obviously still massaging the ego of the head. That way, I don't make anybody feel bad. Everybody feels appreciated. And no one feels like they didn't thank them. Dodging office bullshit one-on-one, -on -one. yeah. That's a good saying. Yeah, office politics can be really hectic. I know, tell me about it. Look, enough of me. I want to know more about you. Billy, what do you want to know? I'd like to know what you think about me. <laughs> that is very Johnny Bravo-ish. Ah, my favorite girl. She knows her cartoons. I like that. <laughs> so what have I done to deserve this? Hmm? Don't be so grateful yet. This is an inquisition. Master's dinner. Why? Ain't so cold. They're worried about you. <sighs> I'm fine. Yeah, we have no need to worry. You have no need to worry, okay? I'm just recovering from a flu. Someone you know? Excuse me. There's no one to blame, you say. Maybe we're not meant to be There are plenty more fish in the sea anyway There's no one to blame you see Maybe we're not meant to be You know you can get that if you want to, it's not a problem No, 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 no. honestly, it's, it's just a very pesky someone, it's nothing serious Yeah <laughs> So yeah, what we said The man legit looks like a dream. <sighs> so, when should I schedule this one into your little black book? What? You don't want two one night stands clashing now, do you? <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> <sighs> Corey, mm -hmm. this one, he's different. Like, I'm not even keen on inviting him over. 
Wow, 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 woo. Yeah. <laughs> that is the first. Yeah. I must record this change. <laughs> Please, what's that date? <laughs> See, this. He is such a gentleman. Did you know he didn't try to kiss me? I'm telling you. He just walked me, you know, down, gave me a peck on my cheek, sniffed my neck, told me I smelled decent, <laughs> and then he walked away. What a man. Wow. I'm not gonna cry. <laughs> Does he have a cousin twice removed? I'll ask. I'm not picking. I'll ask. Oh. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. I'm just kidding. But can you take it one step at a time, please? I'll be careful. But he's a good guy. I have nothing to worry about. Sounds like it. Mm -hmm. it smells like it too. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so mm. fun. Yeah. I heard you request us some time off. I hope you feel better now. We missed you around here. Yes, my dear. As a matter of fact, that's why I'm here. Okay. Do you care to share why you want to resign? Ma'am, it's, uh, it's quite straightforward. I don't think I can give you my best anymore. Gosh. You're one of our best pilots. Everyone goes through tough times. Everyone. I will not accept this resignation. Go on vacation if you want and come back refreshed. Consider that at least. Okay? Really? Flaggy? So you think you can just show up at my house whenever you feel like? You just cost that security outfit their job for nothing. Bones, can I just talk to you? Flaggy, how else can I say it to you? I don't feel like talking, period. Okay, fine. Mm. Can you find it in your heart to forgive me? Mm. Please, I, I love you. I don't love you, and I never have. Laggy, please leave. Please get out. Come on. Laggy, leave. Oh, no, all I'm... Get out! Who was that? Who else will it be? Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm tired. I'm so you finished packing? Uh, mm -mm. I just like traveling with empty packages. You know, that way I won't pay for extra. See, you're going, with, you're going without me. I'm done begging you. See, and if Flaggy has any sense himself, he'll be done begging for you. <laughs> you don't, so, <laughs> don't leave me now. Ah, <laughs> watch me. Don't leave me, don't leave I'm me, don't leave me forever. Yes, I'll miss you more. I won't miss you. <laughs> How many times does she need to humiliate you before you let her go? I mean, the thing is becoming embarrassing. I'm telling you, I, look, I, I, I do not explain it, okay? I, I, I've tried to, to get her out of my mind, but I can't. It's, it's like I'm stuck. I don't even know how to describe it. It's described as love laggy, but this one is toxic. I mean, even if it's meant to be, I feel like you need to step back for a bit and breathe. You need to breathe. Yeah. <sighs> Have you from your parents? No. <laughs> They're worried though. Bish called me again yeah, yes. last night. At least speak his calls. I'll call when I'm ready, okay? I like... I'm not just ready to speak to them yet. Uh, you need a distraction. He does, please. You need a major distraction. That's what you need. Uh -uh. Where is he? Yeah. yeah. So. I thought to you guys on where? Or are you guys holding on to that? Religion? religion thing isn't a problem anymore, but... I just can't shake her off. I, I, I can't shake Bono off. I, I don't know why. Hey, Bono know why? Guilt. Guilt of the past. That's what's stupid. Okay. But you need to forgive yourself first. Okay. And you forgive yourself, then you can move on. Uh, 
Yes. Can I have lemon slices? Uh, molten lemon slices here. And uh, tonic water for my man here. Babe. Hmm? Tonic water. Tonic water. <laughs> okay, nah, for, for me? Yes. It's tonic. <laughs> yes, tonic water. I'll have uh, gin on the rocks, please. Neat. Thank you. What are you just starting? Yeah, free me. Uh, I beg, free me. I still like it. Are you supposed to be drinking? Giving your profession and your confession. My confession is that I'll be okay. Okay. okay? You'll be I okay. I got this, yeah. I told you to do something about this. I did. I did. It's a stubborn boot. I did. Okay. But you realize I'm sitting right here. <laughs> <laughs> Into, hold, hold him now. I'm what? holding. You can't talk with that. Hold him, hold him, hold him. Yeah. Sure, it's falling. Oh, don't match my leg. Oh. Coco wound me. Let's put this in. Wait, but wait, remove his shoe first. I can see shoe, put your leg inside. Remove his shoe now. I beg, I'm not fit. If you get time, you remove him. Wait, this one, they're wrong. Oh, pilot, you're not flying today. Please come back. <laughs> Stick up your friend's shoe. He's yeah. our friend. No, not today. Did you forget? My guy. Forgot my guy when he was drinking. So take care of your guy. And if I were you, go and call your bucket. Pour water, put the towel, or put disinfectant and just put it by his head side. Otherwise, you mop for meat. You come out there to do anything else. Bye. How about you, my love? And please, when you're coming back, don't wake me up. Oh. Hey, not today. <laughs> not today. Don't wake me up. So who was that blowing up your phone the other day? Of course you'd want to know. Well, it was just an old fling. It's nothing really. Tell me more. <laughs> really? Come on, it's, let's just not talk about that. I'm really not up for it. It's okay. I mean, it's it's okay. I'm just I'm just worried for myself. You know, I'm hoping that you won't be having this conversation with some other guy about me. <laughs> Wait, are you asking me out in a roundabout kind of way? <laughs> uh, this is the exact problem with intelligent women. Well, you draw the line, fill it up, and then they read it to themselves by themselves. Okay. So how's work? Really? So you're just going to change the subject just like that? I... No, I'm just going to, I'll act like that's not what you did. Okay. Work is good. And um, to be honest, just the usual challenges that come with my kind of work. You know, um, my work is like chess. Mm -hmm. If you want to win, you have to be six steps ahead of the game. Uh, yeah. But, uh, you care to expand? Tell me more. I mean, you can tell me more of this. <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, so I, I'm about to end my contract with True Money. Right. Yeah. True Money. Yeah. What is that? So it's a mobile money app, and my brand influenced for them on social media. Okay. So technically, I'm about to sign with a very similar company that is bringing a very similar product to the market. And they saw what I did for them, for True Money, and they were like, what? Girl, you're good. So they offered me double the pay that True Money gave me. So once my contract ends with them, and I will ship my followers from True Money to them as well. See? Well, that's simple, but isn't that unethical? I mean... No. Um, not with the kind of strategy that I'm going by. Look, I said you just have to be six steps ahead of the game. Uh, <laughs> it is a dog-eat-dog -dog world out there. I mean, and I, I feel sorry for these brands. They are suffering. No, no. You can't even say that. Do you know that majority of these apps, like these clients, they're not honest. Do you, do you realize that I over-delivered on my contract with True Money and they shortchanged me? Wait a minute. How do you know how much they made to make you think they should change? I have my sources. I told you to stay six steps ahead of the game. In fact, please, is this an inquisition? No, 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 I mean... No, like, I, you came here for me to cook for you. Please, it's just conversation. Exactly, so should I serve you? Yes, please. Exactly. Yes, please. <laughs>
You'll pass me the plate. Yes. <laughs> I see you again on the same road we used to hide and escape. We danced, we used to dance to the fire, never thinking of anything else. I feel you, I need you. I feel you, you finally see me again. I need you, I feel you, I need you, you finally see me again. I see you again on the same road we used to hide and escape. We dance, we used to dance to the fire. Never thinking of anything else. I feel you, I need you. I feel you, you finally see me again. I feel you. Um, I've heard everything you said. Do you, or rather, have you documented his statement? Yes, we have it uh, with your staff. Um, do you have a picture of this man? I mean, the assailant. I do. Are you sure this is the man? I'm 100% sure. His name is Tunde Bada and he's a business analyst. You can go back to your post. Your case has just got tougher, young lady. How? What do you mean? You see that picture on your phone? Yeah. That is the son of the Inspector General of Police. No. That's not even possible. Okay, maybe I did not introduce myself properly. My name is Captain Lagi Gowan, and I demand he do, was... Do you know he told me that he was a poor guy? He told me that his father had died. You can Google the IJ's picture. Going about her. No, Bono. Does that sound familiar to you? Bono, wait. <laughs> um, 
whatever this is, you can take it home and possibly come back tomorrow, if you so wish. Fraud. Fraudulent people. Now you know who the man is, and you're running away. What on earth is this? Hello, Bono. Please, sit down. Can someone please explain to me why my contract was prematurely terminated? That is a breach of contract. Especially when I have done my own end of the bargain. If I must add. God, Bosu Bono. Excuse my French, but the game is up. Can someone please explain to me what this is about? Because I will not be asking these questions again. My lawyers will. Look, Bono. I'm sorry it has come to this. But information which you know says you already signed on to a rival brand. And um, this happened before the contract ended with us. See, Bono? Pays to be six steps ahead of the game, doesn't it? Do you know what? You all are a bunch of jokers. You don't even have proof. You don't. Oh, yes, we do. Allow me to introduce Mr. Tundibada, the True Money Silent partner we have spoken to you about. Double the pay that True Money gave me. So once my contract ends with them, and I will ship my followers from True Money to them as well. See? of shitty ass men. Why can't they just die of some stupid disease or jump off a bridge? There is definitely an epidemic of stupid shitty ass men out there. I'm really sorry, Bobo. Honestly, you really had your fair share. <laughs> but I'm still sulking that you chose to press play on all the drama in your life when I traveled. I mean, a rapist and then a late night police station visit, then a business deal straight out of a spy movie. You really don't do things halfway, do you? Look, Corey. I worked my ass off for these true money people. I even over-delivered on my contract for them. So what's going to happen with all that money true money is yet to pay you as your last check? Obviously, it's gone. But at some point, I will contest and get my money back. Shitty bags of shitty people. Ah, speaking of shit. When last did you hear from Laggy? <laughs> <laughs> That's better. Oh. Don't let them get to you. Uh, it's not worth it. And can I add? I think you owe Lagi some gratitude because no, if he wasn't no, there. No, no, please. I don't owe Lagi anything. I told him thank you there and then. That's that. I think God is calling. <laughs> Corey, what a way to call with all the shitty things that are happening in my life. Please, eh? This was just a case of me trusting vital information with a very, very stupid man. Very, very stupid Tunde Bada. It's a fool. I'm saying what I'm saying because not too long ago you threw God a challenge. You told him we could take everything. And what does the Bible say about the tongue being the bringer of all evil? Um, sis, I don't know where you heard that one from. It actually says, life and death are in the power of the tongue and those that love it, eat the fruit thereof. I think it's Proverbs 18.21, something like that. Hmm. And where did you get that one from? I don't know, residual knowledge. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I think God is calling you. Yes, he's not. <laughs> so how are you feeling? Better I hope. Yeah, I feel I feel much better. I can breathe now without feeling the pain. That's good. Look, I I know I haven't treated you right. And I know that you were really mad at me. Not really. As a Muslim, I believe that what will be will be. We don't really fight for what is ours. Oh, wow. That's beautiful. Yeah. <sighs> I'd like to get to know you better. If that's okay. I'd love that. I'd like that too, but let's be honest. 
We both know this is going nowhere. How do you mean? Your parents, my fate, the things that conspire against this are both things we hold in high regard. How do you say, uh, kicking against the bricks? <laughs> How do you know that expression? Long story, but you get the idea. Yeah, I do. But I also know that the heart can want something so bad that it keeps kicking and doesn't mind, you know, the pain and the bleeding. I agree with you, right? But I'm wise enough to also know that that has not been my experience with you. You're kicking on someone else's door. So. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Do you care to tell me about her? The girl at the restaurant the other day. Come on, out it is. Out it is. Okay. Uh... So that's how Pastor Lagi became Brother Lagi. <laughs> you could say so. Yeah. Okay. Thanks for listening to me. I, I actually feel better. I'll tell you this one thing. Someone once said, forgive yourself and your mistakes will follow. If you don't let Lagi go, don't expect anyone else to. Hmm. That is really profound. So it's like what the Bible says in uh, Philippians 3.13 you know, about letting go of the past, letting go of things behind you and reaching forth for things that are before you. Lovely. Yeah. So, what now? Now, you go after Bono. I know it's hard, but that's where your heart is, at least for now. And should that ever change, then you know, and you have the courage to fully move on. <laughs> Wow, look who's beating profoundness today. <laughs> I wish I could take my own advice sometimes. <laughs> well, that's a good idea. High five on that. <laughs> okay, Mom. Out with it. Why have I been summoned? <laughs> you have not been summoned. I've just been a little bit worried, and I thought to share my heart with you. Okay, Mom. Corey told me some things that caught me short, quite frankly. Corey? Yes. I would have done worse things than you if this had happened like seven years ago. Mom, to be honest, I don't feel like talking about this right now. I'm not asking you to talk. I'm asking you to listen. See, I'm not the one that was in a relationship with Lagi. But then I've come to terms with what happened. And I've come to forgive myself for not being vigilant enough to have noticed what was happening. I've also worked on myself to forgive that young man and also to release him from my heart. Am I making sense to you at all? Yes, ma'am. And when I was thinking of what to say to you, I asked the Lord and something dropped, a scripture dropped in my spirit. And that scripture is Joel chapter 2. Verse 23, 24, 25, and 6. Tell me where? Joel, chapter 2, verse 23 to 26. I'll read it to you. It says, Be glad, ye children of the Lord, ye children of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord your God, for he had given you rain moderately, on the line moderately and it will cause to come down for you the rain the former rain and the latter rain in the first month and the floors shall be full with wheat and the vats shall be 
overflowing with wine and oil. And he said, I will restore to you the years that the locusts had eaten, mm. the canker worm, caterpillar, and the palmer worm, the great army which I sent amongst you. And ye shall eat in plenty and be satisfied and praise the name of the Lord your God that had dealt bountifully with you. And you, Onusiaba, Kuku, shall never be put to shame. Can you say amen? Amen. Lord, I pray you complete the work you started in your daughter. Give her a new spirit. Renew her mind, Lord. Let the same spirit, your spirit that raised Jesus from the dead, quicken her mortal body, Father Lord. Thank you, mighty God. Thank you, sweet Jesus. Lord, I trust and believe you. For in Jesus' mighty name, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Mommy. Yes, dear. Seven years ago, when I found out that like he had left me. Mommy, I cried. And the Lord dropped this scripture on my heart. And I wrote it down. Mommy, Mommy, this is seven years. This is seven years after. And God has brought me back to the exact point where he spoke to me. Mommy, I was too stubborn and I was too angry. Ah, Mommy, I was angry. I was too angry to listen. I mean, this is seven years later and God has brought me back to the first point where we first spoke. <laughs> This is something really great. Now you can see that it is not about me. Yes, Mom. Can we pray? Mommy, I think I need time to process all of this. That's fine. But I would like to pray with my daughter. Okay, well, I, I, I don't need you to pray. Oh, okay. Your knees. <sighs> Amen. Mommy, what did you tell God? It is done. Amen. It's between a mother and her God. I love you, mommy. Oh, come. Walk around can pick up. Yep. Looking good. Network 24 7. Breaking news. Apparently, they're belonging to early litigation that just went missing last night has been found. The Gulf Street T450 crashed near the Kakuri Hills shortly after takeoff. It's been reported that all on board that plane have perished. According to the manifest of the aircraft obtained by our reporter,
The jet was flown by decorated pilots, Captain Vladi Kowan, his first Bono. captain, Isaac Adele. Bono, come! Also in the aircraft was the air hostess, Chison Joseph. No passengers were on board. First responders and the rescue team are already on site. This is Network News 247 Breaking News. I am Lara Ibanda. just I'd really like to be alone I just want to process things a little bit are you, are you sure I'm sure okay well as it is I'll have to go and uh, pick up some more things so I'll probably have to be staying here a bit more hmm? okay mommy thank good, you good. you be good be strong hmm? be strong I promise you, you'll be fine. I will, Mama. Love you, my baby. Love, Love you too, Mommy. You, Mama. <laughs> <laughs> mm. All right, see you then. Okay, Mommy, bye. Mm. Um. <clears throat> I need to head back to the shop, put some things in place. It's okay, love. Just do what you need to. Mom, did you forget your offer? Lucky? Yes, it's me, Bones. I came as soon as I heard. May I come in? Sit down with me, please. Go on. Now, before I explain the airline news, I'd like to apologize for everything. If I could take it all back, I would. He didn't deserve any of it. Maggie. Just hear me out, okay? Please. When you came back into my life, I, I was confused. I thought God had brought you back so I could help you heal. 
Imagine that. I thought I was responsible for your healing, but I was wrong. Now I know better. I know that wasn't what this is about. Now I know God wanted me to be healed. Um, how could he do that? Lagi, like, I have not been a model daughter. I have rebelled in every possible way, and you know that. Yes. God is tenacious about his kids, isn't he? He isn't one to give up so easily. And he doesn't judge the way we do. Yeah. Honestly, the occurrences that have happened these past few days, whew, they've been unbelievable. Yes. But I'm just... <laughs> I'm glad you're here. I'm glad too. So, are we good? Yes, of course. <laughs> we are good. I, I can't believe you're here. <laughs> awesome. I can't believe you're here. I, I need to call Eric and, and mom hey, and your, your hey. dad and Don't we were worry. so worried. Don't worry. Okay. Yes, I have it all covered. Okay. <sighs> Maggie, the timing of this whole thing is so crazy. Do you know I was going to call you this morning? Like, I was going to call you this morning to tell you that I've forgiven you and... Because, man, God has been dealing with me. Hey. <laughs> and honestly, I, I knew that you were sorry. I knew that you were honestly sorry. I was just saying how to get. <laughs> I was just... I was just being stubborn. I know. <laughs> I know. I don't even know if this timing is right for this, but... If the past few days have taught me anything, it's to live in the present. I don't know how to say this. <laughs> Maggie, I love you. And I have never stopped loving you. I was just too proud and too stubborn to admit this. <laughs> and, and yes, I know that we're not perfect. Our relationship has a lot of hurdles. But we will cross them, and I promise not to get angry at you again. In fact, I'll be a good girl. <laughs> <laughs> now I can rest easy, knowing that you'll be fine. <laughs> <clears throat> May I get some water, please? I'm parched. Okay, I'll get you water. That's all you need. Is that your soup? Yes, my mom made it for me because she was trying to force me to eat. I was so worried. You should have seen me. Okay, should I warm that up? Let's just get water for you. What are we find? Yeah, I'm back. <laughs> Lagi? Lagi? Who? Please, have you seen my keys? I've been looking for it. I've... Corey, where is Laggy? Who? Laggy! Oh no. Calm down. What do you mean? I just left here literally two minutes ago until I realized I forgot my keys. Oh no. That kid. That kid's dead. He is not. He was just here. I'm not mad. Calm down. I calm. Let me call you. No, Corey, he just left here now. Laggy, Corey. Let me call your mom. Corey, 
Like he was just here. He couldn't have been. I've been outside our flat the whole time. I didn't move an inch. Please, Christ. Look, look, he gave me this. Listen, you, you couldn't have. So, you sorry. But, oh no, but no, but no, but no, please, please, please don't do Oh God, please don't do this. In the Kabi Hunt and Zambi, 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 in the Kabi Hunt and Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Yeah, 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 ye